good morning from a really cold Melbourne airport. Directly behind me are the Jetstar gates, where all major domestic flights operate from. Today we will be flying with Jetstar in approximately 59 minutes, bound for Brisbane. Despite being the middle of summer, Melbourne this morning was absolutely freezing and my hands were going numb, even though I had only been outside for less than 15 minutes. Having had enough of the cold and my flight's departure being right around the corner, I wasted no time and proceeded to the terminal. Melbourne Airport has four terminals. Terminal 1 is for Qantas Link and Qantas. Terminal 2 is for all international flights and the occasional Jetstar domestic flight. Terminal 3 is for Virgin Australia, and Terminal 4 is for Rex, Bonza, Link Airways, and of course Jetstar, which, as stated in my introduction, we shall be flying on board today. One thing I like about Melbourne Airport is that all the terminals are fairly accessible, being within a 15-minute walk of each other, with of course Terminals 1 and 4 being the furthest apart. Having made my way to Terminal 4, I quickly proceeded inside to escape the frigid temperatures. Check-in for Jetstar is located in the centre of the building and is kiosk only, with many of them being available. I've stated this fact many times in the past, but I personally find Jetstar's kiosks to be the easiest out there. However, in today's case, the kiosk failed to print my bag tag, forcing me to see a staff member, who realised the machine was simply out of bag tag feed. Once I had dropped off my bag at the equally easy bag drop facility, I turned around and proceeded upstairs to departures. Security is located up the yellow stairs behind the check-in area for Jetstar, and it's fairly easy to find, just follow the posted placards. Once I had cleared security, I proceeded through the terminal towards my gate. Terminal 4 has a very European-style terminal, with shops, food outlets and retail stores directly after security, with plenty of comfy seating choices available. Whilst down at the gate, there is very minimal seating and very few food outlets, maximising the amount of time each passenger spends in the food court, which is where the airport makes most of its money. Boarding today commenced from gate 48. Having arrived at my gate, I quickly proceeded through to my aircraft. As I stepped out into the freezing cold weather again, which I was severely underdressed for, I got my first glimpse at the aircraft that'll be flying me up to the Sunshine State, that being an Airbus A321, registered as Victor Hotel Victor Whiskey Whiskey. She was built at Airbus's final assembly line in Toulouse, France in 2009, being painted in Jetstar's standard livery, making this aircraft 15 years old. Jetstar's Airbus A321s have two seating configurations. This particular aircraft is in an all-economy class layout with 222 standard economy seats in a 3-3 layout. This morning I shall be seated in 28 Foxtrot. The economy class seat has 29 inches of pitch and 17.8 inches of width. There is a standard tray table that folds down and extends. In the seat back pocket you'll find a safety card, buy on board menu and air sickness bag. Above are individual reading lights, air vents and a flight attendant call button. Hello again. We want you to have a safe and enjoyable flight. So please listen closely while we take you through the safety requirements for our Airbus A321. The A321 During the safety briefing, we commenced our pushback from the gate five minutes ahead of schedule. Two in front of the wing, two behind the loose strap to tighten. 
only inflate your life jacket as you leave the aircraft by pulling down on the red tags. You can... Taxi to runway 16 via Juliet, Sierra, Victor and Echo. Now please enjoy this unedited takeoff. We spun around over the western suburbs of Melbourne, setting a northeasterly course for Brisbane. Flight time today is 1 hour and 42 minutes, covering a distance of 900 miles or 1,448 kilometres, cruising at 35,000 feet. Once the clouds over Melbourne parted, I was able to see in the distance Lake Ilden. A few minutes later, we flew directly over Ben Alla, which is a very small town sitting atop of Broken River. Soon the crew commenced the in-flight service. As I booked this flight with Qantas, I was entitled to a $10 meal deal, and I got myself an orange juice and a toasty, which needed to be heated up. Whilst waiting for my food, we flew by the fairly small town of Young in southern New South Wales. Eventually, the crew returned with my toasty, and I was given a cheese and tomato relish one today, which was pretty decent, and it's definitely something I'm keen on trying again. Later on, we passed over Tamworth in northeastern New South Wales. Jetstar's Airbus A321s have three bathrooms on board, one at the front and two at the rear, with everything you typically expect to find, including Qantas branded hand soap. Soon we commenced our descent into Brisbane. With the crystal clear morning and beautiful weather over the Brisbane Gold Coast region, the arrival into Brisbane today was quite stunning, with the early morning sun rising above the water. I've stated this many times in many different videos, but depending on which side of the aircraft you sit on will determine what sort of view you get. When I fly to Brisbane, I generally recommend sitting on the right hand side for flights from the south, or the left hand side from flights to the north and the west. In today's case, I chose the right-hand side, which gave me great views of the Gold Coast, but not so great views of Brisbane upon landing. Now please enjoy this unedited landing.
Brisbane. No, the one out of the change between Victoria and Queensland. After landing, we taxi back to the terminal via Alpha 4 Sierra, Alpha, Bravo 4, Bravo, and Charlie 4. <laughs> We pulled into gate 30, a staggering 23 minutes ahead of our scheduled arrival time. As I stepped off the aircraft, I left behind the great crew and my thoughts were moved from Jetstar and to the weather in Brisbane, which was a much more appealing 24 degrees. Flying from Melbourne to Brisbane is a route I've wanted to do for a while now, due to it not being that common for me as a Sydney sider. This video was filmed in late January 2024, and nearly one and a half years ago, Jetstar introduced its newest aircraft, the Airbus A321neo, which I was one of the very first passengers to fly on board. This aircraft is set to replace the aging A321 in the coming years, as more of the NEOs are introduced. However, whilst they're still here, the A321 CEO, or current engine option, is a great way to transport more people from two points, having an additional 42 seats on board. Other than the additional seating, everything remains consistent with Jetstar's other products, and generally I have nothing to falter about today's flight. Little did I know that in the next three hours, all of my plans would come to a grinding halt when a later flight in the day screwed me over and I was forced to not board the following flight I had, also with Jetstar. And also, funnily enough, that flight turned out to be delayed due to a technical fault for nearly 90 minutes, which is quite insane. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe. Make sure to check out the other videos I have on my YouTube channel. And also, I now have a Discord server. Feel free to join. Link at the top of the description. And don't forget to ring that notification bell if you enjoy my content. And if you want to see more, I post my videos every Friday at 8pm Sydney time. And I hope to see you again in the next one. See you later!